Well, hello everyone. So, it's been a while since I recorded a Living Blind video, and I thought today was as good of a day as any. Um, about a week ago, which is when I made my last Living Blind video, someone asked me if I could show the techniques blind people used to tell whether or not um, they had a drink in front of them or where their drink was located. So, these are the techniques that I was taught in Alpha Point and also the ones that I already knew. Okay, so, this is a cup and this is a straw, obviously, and, um, I, this is just me, but I don't like it when people open my straw and put it in my cup because I don't know where your hands have been. I don't know if you petted a dog lately or touched raw meat and didn't wash your hands or sneezed all over yourself or blue snot everywhere. Like, I don't know what you've done with your hands. And I don't want you touching my straw. So what I prefer is for someone to hand me my straw and then I um, will open the straw and put it in the cup myself. Sorry for the terrible, <laughs> really bad angles here. But um, it's really hard to do things with my right hand because, fun fact, I'm left-handed. So what I do is I search for the hole with both my finger and the straw. Usually it's my straw that finds it first. And then I put the straw in. And I'm just going to throw away this straw wrapper here. And then when I want to pick up my drink, well, first of all, I make sure that it's not sitting at the edge, the very tippy edge of my desk, because uh, what I do is I feel for my drink with the backs of my fingers, and then when I touch it, it doesn't go over, versus if I go like that, it's going to probably fall over. So, like, if I touch it with the front of my fingers, and then once I get it with the backs of my fingers, then I'll put my hand on the cup, and I'll lift the cup, and I'll take a drink. And then I'll fill for the edge of the desk or table again. In this case, it's a desk, so that's why I keep saying desk. And then I'll fill along the desk with the cup and then I'll sit the cup back down um, away from the edge and those are the techniques that I had already been using um, a lot of times though I'll forget and I'll use I'll use um, the front part of my fingers which is the part that usually bends to grab things instead of the back and what will happen usually is they'll hit the glass with enough force that it'll kind of tip it sideways or cup glass or cup um, it'll hit it with enough force that it'll kind of tip it sideways or it will tip it completely over and then I'll have a mess I usually try to set the glass in the same place because um then I would have to fill around the desk or the table with my fingers until I found it. And like I said, if it was on the edge, it would fall over. And, um, you know, that's just my personal preference. I, I, it's easier to find things as a blind person if you put them in one place, and that includes cups or glasses. And that's why it's not funny to move things. <laughs> such as cups or glasses because then we don't know where they are <sighs> um so this is my video I hope you like this video enough to subscribe be sure to ring that notification bell make sure it's set to all notifications 
make sure to leave a comment if you have a question or if you have an idea for future videos. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Be sure and follow me on Twitter because that's where I post all of the latest videos. Because I know how weird YouTube is and that sometimes I can mess up. Also, feel free to like my Facebook page. Both my Twitter and my Facebook page are Steffi2010. Both of these things, like always, can be found in the description below. Be kind to others. Do good things. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.